I decided to go out for a walk this morning. And I understand why the importance of listening to your heart is when you get an intuitive nudge to go do something, the best thing you can do is listen to it. There is a reason that is your heart speaking to you. We spend so much time in our brain and in our mind and doing the things we think we need to do and responding to the needs of the other of others and taking care of others and doing all the things we think we should be doing. We've lost the ability to connect with our heart. And it's my firm belief that your heart holds the answers to who you really are. And at some point during your life, you've lost the ability to connect with your heart and with who you really are with your soul. So I went for my walk this morning. I, I had the idea I'm going to go for a walk and I did, I just did an hour walk and I stopped and take, took pictures of the sun shining through the trees of, of the rays of me walking. Like it was just, it was a beautiful walk. But here's the other thing. It's not always about the thing you think it is. So I, I got the intuition that I should just go for a walk. First of all, I followed it. I got up, got my clothes on and, and went for a walk, which I normally don't do. I, I'm pretty good at ignoring myself. And the walk was great. It got me moving. It got me some exercise, got my steps in, but it's what came to me while I was walking. And this is also why it's so important to listen to your heart because it's like a trail of breadcrumbs back to yourself. It's, it's clues that are leading you to the very place you wanna be in life, but you're so busy ignoring yourself and then you wonder why you are unhappy, disconnected, wonder whose life you're living. So on my walk, I always find that when I'm walking, information just downloads to me, probably partly because I'm listening to podcasts and that's where some of the information is coming from. But everything you hear that resonates with you is another clue. The reason I'm so passionate about sharing my life journey on social media is because I realized on my walk this morning, that my ability to be myself was taken away from me at a very young age. I had some childhood experiences that shaped, shaped my life journey, shaped who I am as a person. But what I didn't realize was they interrupted that connection to myself. They blocked it. They stopped it. I lost my ability to know who I was because of this traumatic event that happened to me, these traumatic events that happened to me. Not only did I lose the ability to be myself, I lost the ability to speak for myself. That's why I speak out now. That's why I talk about all the, all the things, mental health, struggles with depression, struggles with anxiety, my experiences in the fire service, my life in general, my relationship, my family, things I've learned, life lessons. That is why I talk about so much of it. That is why I live my life on social media and share these things and that was the awareness that came to me this morning. That was the clue that, or that was the, one of the awarenesses that came to me. It's another piece of the puzzle. And had I ignored my heart telling me go for a walk, I wouldn't have uncovered this clue. So listen to your heart, listen to your heart and Follow it. That is how you start to connect with yourself again. That is how you remember who you are. I lost my voice. I lost my ability to be myself. 
I've gone through so much of my life not knowing who I am. It's, that's why I suffer from depression. That's why I suffered from anxiety. That's why I never felt like I was enough. It's because I wasn't the way I was living. I didn't know who I was. That, uh, that ability for connection was taken away from me and I've never given up on trying to find it again. And now I understand. I understand who I am. And I understand why I do what I do. And I also understand that if you're a woman listening to this, even if you're a man, but especially if you're a woman listening to this, and you have a dream inside your heart, you need to follow that dream. Because you connecting with yourself and sharing your journey could be, it could hold many clues for many others to recognize themselves in your journey. And then it becomes you providing a puzzle piece or a link for somebody else to find themselves. Because together, men and women alike, we are all stronger when we are who we are and not who we think we should be. So the next time you get a message from your heart, your intuition or an intuitive nudge or an inspired thought, you need to follow it.